So Dead in Bermuda is a survival management game with RPG and adventure elements. Pretty much you have eight people that crash landed from a plane onto a deserted island and it's your job to keep them alive. So yes, I did skip the intro cutscene, and it's fine, yeah, we're gonna go over it. I'm gonna be your man to take you through this journey of Dead in Bermuda. So, uh, here are our eight people that were just involved in a crash site, and we are now involved, I guess not really involved, but we are in an island, and uh, it's our job to survive. So you see the same characters every single time, and there's gonna be a little stat sheet. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that none of these states, there's five states, hunger, sickness, depression, fatigue, and injury. If that gets to 100%, they're gonna, de they're gonna die. That person's gonna die. Just one of those things needs to get to 100% and then boom, dead, gone. And uh, at that point, you know, when you start losing people, oh my goodness, it gets so difficult. Uh, so this game is actually very interesting because it's, it's, I don't know, it's kind of a puzzle. I don't want to say that, it's probably, that's probably not the right term, but it is kind of like a puzzle trying to figure out and trying to uh, put the right people in the right spots for the right professions. Uh, so there's all these skills, everyone starts off with, I think, the same skills every game. Uh, but, you know, like I said in the intro, there's RPG elements. So as these people level up, you'll get to kind of invest in certain... Uh, you know, whether it be in the physical, mental, utility, or food category, uh, you'll be able to invest something like stealth. You know, you can make Jacob better at, at becoming more stealthy, and that is helpful when trying to avoid enemies in the island because it's a deserted island and there's some weird stuff going on. There's some weird, weird stuff. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. So the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to kind of assign everyone. Right now, they just got off the campsite and they're all kind of depressed because, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, or not the campsite. They just got off the plane and uh, they're they're chilling by the campsite and they're trying to figure out what they're going to do. So you want to kind of orchestrate, I guess, uh, what people to do what professions on this island because they all need to survive. You need to you need to all survive. There's also a an item as we continue to collect items and scavenge the area. Uh, we'll be able to, you know, use different items to help out and, and to, you know, maybe lower the state. Sometimes it helps out those items. But uh, anyways, like I said, uh, Ileana here is our researcher I, and I kind of have, you know, we're not going to go through all the skill sheets. I kind of have an idea of how I want my lineup to go so far. Uh, research is very, very important. Um, they're going to go through the library and they're going to research different items that we can build on this island. And then that is uh, then up to the workshop and the people that are building, the crafters, I guess, that are that are using the workshop uh, to build those items that have been researched by the uh, researchers, I guess you could say. So Ileana is one. Uh, I do enjoy her for that. Uh, let's also put winter uh, Winters, I think, is a pretty good researcher for now. Again, these people can kind of trade in, uh, like, off. Um, you know, they're not... And, and they will be doing that quite a bit. They're going to be doing that quite a bit, and it all kind of depends on on what our, our I guess, the necessities are in the island. Uh, but, you know, for now, just to start off, Winters is a pretty good... I mean, she's okay. She's got intelligence and okay knowledge. But uh, And also, yes, I didn't even mention that. So due to fatigue, so, you know, they're going to gather fatigue and depression and stuff like that. Th th that's going to also modify these values. So just because we see knowledge is at 40 doesn't mean the actual value is... is that's, a, that's, a, it's, uh, that's a, in her prime, when is in her prime has a, a value of 40 knowledge but right now because of her depression uh, it's actually at 37 so you got to be conscious of this uh negative 17 percent knowledge uh based action efficiency stuff like that okay uh, so for now i also want to put ala well maybe alejandro alejandro is kind of our main leader he's kind of a good leader here uh, i think i want him as the crafter um, or I guess next to the workshop. He's okay, right? Crafting? Crafting right wise, yeah, he's 45. Uh, I love using Ur Yuri as the kind of scavenger. Now, the scavenger is tough in the very beginning because he's going to be going through the crash plane and he's going to be seeing all these dead bodies, so his depression is going to build up faster than everyone else's. Uh, but he's pretty hardcore dude. He's from Russia and uh, he's he's pretty dang hardcore, so he should be okay. We'll kind of keep an eye on him and we'll have to give him some fatigue, but yeah, he's, he's strong and buff and, you know, everything that I'm not pretty much. Everything that I want to be in life, that's what that guy is. Uh, Jacob is pretty pretty angry old man. I guess if you're used to watching Lost in this game, definitely kind of brings uh, a lot of Lost... I don't know. It definitely makes me. It reminds me of the TV show Lost. Jacob reminds me kind of like John Locke, but this guy's a mean old man, but he's a good hunter and he's kind of psycho. But uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Julia is also from Russia, and she's very good at, at kind of exploring and stuff like that. I mean, if we look at her stats, she's overall skills wise, she's very smart. Uh, she's very stealthy, which again, as we continue to explore the island, we need that stealth value uh, to try to miss enemies because we will be attacked by the creatures on the island. Um, and and I think that's it. I mean, she's a pretty good hunter as well. Fighting, she's very good. So I, I do like to have these guys. So, you know, as you can see, I don't think I even mentioned this. Um, every single spot that I'm putting them in, they that's where... 
And you know what? Actually, she's going to be also a crafter. Oh, she's terrible crafting. Maybe I shouldn't. Um, Julia, wait, is this even? No, Alice, I'm sorry. Alice is actually, if I remember correctly, she's okay in terms of her, uh, her, what is it? Exploration? Yeah, 67. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put Julia out there. Uh, I'm sorry, Alice. I keep I keep mixing these two up. Uh, so, yeah, these are the people that are going to go out and they're going to explore this map. They're, they're going to explore the map. The, this is There's, like, kind of a fog of war here, but um, I guess kind of you can kind of call it a fog of war, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we're going to discover different items. Everything, this, it, this does apparently change from game to game, so we're going to discover different things and uh, different sort of creatures, like I said, different sort of people that are on the island. No spoilers, but... Uh, yeah, there's that's not really a spoiler. I mean, you find out that there's people on the island, other, I guess, natives on the island pretty 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 early on. And then Bob will be the other uh, crafter here because yeah, I mean he's he's got a value of 40. Alejandro's 45. That's pretty good. So yeah, this is this seems to be the best setup so far. Um, you know, Winters is okay. Knowledge, you know, uh, Ileana is pretty good. And yeah, this is pretty. I, I would suggest honestly for your games to to go with this setup too, uh, just from the very beginning. Obviously, this changes really quick because fatigue starts to take into place. Uh, it starts to come into play and uh, as well as hunger and you know everything injury sickness stuff like that So we have to research we have to start building our first thing and obviously that's gonna be the campfire now We start off with uh, these resources. I believe these are the only resources you begin the game with dead in Bermuda starts off with uh, 10 wood two stone and one tinder so everything else you have to find which is not hard you, you'll, you'll find things pretty easily and then yeah the library just automatically or you just automatically research things randomly so uh, you don't you don't get to choose exactly what you get to research it just kind of pops up up. Uh, anyways, it's day one. Let's go ahead. So there are two phases in this game. There's uh, the first half of the day, and then there's the second half of the day. Uh, and I guess the, technically there's a third half of the day, uh, or I guess there's a third. There's a nighttime period involved in the game. As you can see, um, Yuri here is is discovering all sorts of things, and uh, from the crash sites, this is the crash plane is going to be an excellent resource to gather up some material, uh, at least for now. Now, eventually they do run out after 12 uses. Um, that that area no longer becomes vi uh, vi viable, I guess. Uh, and we also finished up the fire camp or campfire. Why does it say fire camp? I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Uh, so yeah, we can only use the plane for so much. I think 12 uses is at most, and then it, and then it gets completely. Uh, uh, then you know you discover everything that was on the plane. So then you have to kind of find out new areas. Oh good! Wow, we already have the uh, the sleeping. So we just researched a sleeping area, and um, as you can see, like. In this game, there seems to be like a lot of room here, right? Well, that's because you're gonna have a lot of other items, a lot of new items that pop up. And uh, you'll have all sorts of different things you can do. Right now, there's not much to do because we just landed on this deserted island. Like, things are all kind of messy. And uh, so that was the phase, that was the first phase that we went to. Now we can go through another phase. Uh, and uh, as we continue onward, you're gonna see, especially like our explorers out here, Julia, Jacob, and Alice, uh, they're gonna gather up fatigue as they continue to discover the island. So there's a little notification up here. Uh, Here's our map. Now we can go towards these spots and uh, we can also try to, usually there's going to be an item or a person um, within this screen with it, whatever view or I guess a block of land that we just uh, found. But um, yeah, you can always choose. Now this is a good way to gather up resources as well. I'm not sure if I will. You, you got to be careful. Now I guess I'll do it for the sake of this kind of, uh, I don't know, look at, first look sort of thing um, for this video. But uh, normally, I think I'd leave this alone. So Yuri is good at scavenging. So you think, yeah, let's send out Yuri out there. But but he's really bad at stealth. And uh, I mean, it's not a t it's not a terrible idea. But um, see, let me just go ahead and pick him. So when you pick this guy. He's gonna get a, uh, a test. He's gonna get a skill check for his stealth. He's got terrible stealth, so he's gonna always, almost always get attacked. But he's, he's a good scavenger. So you're gonna get some pretty good items whenever you decide to, you know, if you decide to scavenge with him. Um, so it's not bad, you know what I mean? Like, you know, him getting hurt isn't terrible. Uh, again, like we saw painkillers and, and there is medicine as we continue to progress uh, onward. But, um... I mean, I don't know. You don't worry too much about being attacked. I don't be. I, I was at first really worried, but you know, this is barely like five percent. What is? Oh, seven percent. Uh, he got you know an additional seven percent on his in injury. Uh, there are definitely items that we're going to discover uh, to bring that down, so it won't be too big of a deal. So let's keep everyone there for now, and uh, and uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and. Oh, oh wow. So I want someone already got to. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I thought someone already reached a level two and we cut. I thought we were going to invest into like RPG points, but not yet. We have to uh, choose what to build first or I guess next. So, so now we're going to build a sleeping area. This is really, really important. A very basic necessity of the uh, of your town or I don't really want to call it a town, but of your 
crash site, your your campfire, uh, because people need to sleep. And people, weirdly enough, in this game, they don't sleep at night. They stay up, and I guess it makes sense because there's something. I mean, there's, I, I, if you see some of the things that are going on in the forest out here, I think you'll you'll see why they don't sleep at night. So you have to designate them. You're gonna need to make sacrifices. So we might see Alejandro here. Um, get a lot of fatigue, which means we're going to need to have him go to sleep, which means that we're going to progress a lot slower when crafting whatever items that we need to craft. Uh, one thing that I've noticed is that, and we've discovered it looks like one or two more areas, um, one thing that I've noticed is that, oh, and there's always going to be this scene here where they talk at night, they talk every single night, it is kind of random, but uh, the scenes, I believe, are the same, uh, but they go out of order depending on your game, and, and that brings different values, uh, obviously, as well. Uh, so we're, I'm not even going to read this stuff. I it doesn't really matter. I, I want to kind of skip through and show you guys as much gameplay as I can. Um, so, yeah, pretty much we're going to see the results of what they say in kind of an overview window right here. Now, I think this is like the normal conversation they have after uh, every single night. So people are not going to like each other. People are going to have negative opinions. So, you know, Jacob might really not like Winters or Winters may really not like Bob. And there's like... These things have to be taken note as the game progresses because, I mean, they, they eventually become to hate each other. Some people will just hate each other. They don't work well together. And that's going to, you know, obviously provide those negative modifiers, those values. Uh, all this stuff needs to be taken into account. Uh, so we start off with food. I mean, because we found some, and, and we have some pretty good food in the beginning. Now, this is perishable food, so this stuff will go away. We want to use this now. Fruits are used to uh, get water and uh, to squeeze. We squeeze fruits for, for water, so we kind of don't want to use the fruits. Even though the island is filled with fruits, uh, this is a very, very easy... Uh, this is an easy resource to kind of continue to gather up as uh, as you continue to progress throughout your time here on this uh, island, I guess you could say. So I'd, I'd like to... Maybe we should... I'm going to save these these nice uh, three-star dishes. We're going to leave them alone for now. Let's. I don't even want to use... I don't even know if I want to use much of this because I feel like it'd be a waste. So, yeah, we are going to... I think we're going to skip out. We're not going to feed anyone tonight because I'd, I'd much rather not have someone cap out. Uh, like Ileana here, she's only at 12% hunger. I don't want to you know, happen to get 20% because it's 10 to 20% when you feed this to a certain... Um, people of the island, so I, you know, that would suck if I, if I cap it out like that. So let's go, just go to the next turn. We'll, we'll leave everyone hungry. And uh, so here is a little effect. I guess there wasn't that little overview that I was talking about. We'll talk. We'll look at that in, on on night three or, or whatever that is. Uh, so yeah, we can see how depression will increase and hunger will increase as well. Um, it gives us values for our water supply and our fire intensity. Um, but that's not an issue. I'll, I'll go over how you kind of uh, continue to increase your fire. Right now, the fire intensity is at 75 percent uh you can convert wood in order to sustain that fire intensity but you kind of don't want to do that i'd rather not waste my wood resources um wood is eventually easier to get but in the beginning not so much not so much so we're not going to do anything here um and this here is my water supply uh, we can check on that. Now I can squeeze fruit to gather up more water resources. Uh, and I, pro I probably will. I'll, I'll convert a few of them. Uh, there's really, we don't get much back out of this. But uh, let's just go ahead and gather a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I don't I don't ever like to give my, uh, my people fruits. It seems like a waste. Because, you know, without water, that's pretty bad. And then here's a trunk filled with a bunch of items that uh, we've discovered and stuff like that. Uh, we have discovered a few actual items that we can give uh, to our people. Um, and each one of these are, are going to kind of bring different elements. So uh, the coffee cup is going to do negative 10% on fatigue and depression. This is this would be a pretty good thing to use on winters. We're going to save this because the coffee cup is really good for um, Uri here. Uh, Uri needs this stuff because he gets really depressed very fast, like 39%. He, I mean, he's, he's you know he's scavenging through like dead bodies and stuff like that. I mean, nobody wants to do that. He's I've given him the job because I feel like he's the most hardcore to handle it. Uh, now, how how much? Well, let's just go to the next uh, turn and let's see exactly how much we have, how much more time we need for the sleeping area. So we're getting up a, a bunch of, you know, meals. That's great. So obviously, that's not going to last us long. Uh, now, what one thing to kind of dive into strategies here. One thing that I've noticed is it's absolutely essential that you always keep, and, and this is my opinion, this might not be 100%. Uh, see fatigue starting to gather up here. Um, this, this might not be the right thing, but my strategy, my favorite strategy, oh, good, we've researched a, uh, we've gathered some tools. Um, good, and this is going to be a, a whole another uh, sort of profession, I guess, workshop area that we can have our people um, 
invest in, and that's how we can gather resources like wood and stuff like that. I believe wood and stone and stuff. Uh, I, I, I found that it's always kind of crucial to have people constantly researching and crafting uh, at the workshop. I mean, because those those are some basic necess necessities, especially in the beginning of the game. Now, at the end of the game, there's all these sorts of things you have to worry about, uh, and there's going to be all sorts of things that you can do. Oh, man, people are getting really tired really fast. I mean, they haven't slept for a few days, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, surprised that Jacob has such low exploration uh, values. Uh, it's only at 27. That's not good. Let's let's discover around here, see what we got. Um, a fisherman's basket. So this would be good, but we don't have a fisherman yet. Eventually, you will be able to build a fishing rod. And Bob, one of our uh, people in the uh, on this island, is a very good fisherman. Um, but we're going to keep that there for now. Uh, again, it's not too big. Oh, I could grab a machete. But yeah, I'm going to keep this stuff. I'm, I'm not going to go after it yet. Because why? Because that's it's only going to provide more injury. It's going to provide more fatigue. Trying to avoid that in the very beginning. I'm, I'm very. I'm trying to avoid that. Um, how, how much are we almost done with this? 80%. I'm thinking the sleeping area will be, be finished now. I'm hoping. Okay. So Yuri, how, how are you doing? He's got. He's getting more scavenging. That, those plus ones to his scavenging. That's going to his skill set. Uh, so that's nice. He's becoming a better and better scavenger. Uh, got some painkillers, a chocolate box, which is really good for uh, kind of decreasing. I think it's like twenty negative twenty percent depression for that chocolate box. So he's probably going to eat that himself. Okay. So this is what I mean. We just finished up a sleeping area, and this is going to be a new part of the screen. Boom! It's going to pop up on the screen. Bam! And uh, that is something that we can assign uh, our people to do. We can shoot. You know, we can tell them, hey man, you've been working pretty hard, you can go ahead, you can go ahead and go to sleep, man. Uh, and, and that might be a good idea for a lot of the people that have, uh, kind of plenty of fatigue. So it is day two, uh, still pretty early on. I, I'm sure our, uh, our explorers might want to, yeah, I mean, look at Jacob. Jacob, I mean, he's an old guy. What do you expect? He's, he's getting tired. Uh, we'll probably do that in day three, but let's see. Uh, again, Alice is going to talk to Jacob. Jacob and Alice, a Alice tend to like each other. Um, and again, like I said, these, these events are scripted, but they come out of order. So different things will come at different times, and uh, obviously that can drastically affect the game. So I've read this. Again, we're not going to go over this stuff. Uh, I'll save this for you You know, you guys to look over the lore and uh, you know the difference the people, the characters in this game. So this is what I mean, the discussion results. You're going to have these discussion results after every night, and uh, this is ultimately the only thing you really need to like look at. You don't really need to read the dialogue at all uh, if you don't want to. So Alice's opinion of Yuri has gone down because Jacob and Alice don't really like Yuri. They think that he's a part of the Soviet Union or he's a Soviet spy or something like that because he's from Russia. Um, and then so, but but Alice's opinion of, of Jacob has gone up and, and so is, you know, vice versa, Jacob's opinion of Alice. And we can look at that value, probably not yet because I need to feed everyone. Uh, oh, maybe I can. No, I have to wait for the next day. Okay, I'll show you guys um, the, the window showing everyone's opinion of everyone else. So now everyone's a bit more hungry. And I have, wow, I've got 12 of these. And it is important that we start using this because, like I said, this is perishable food. After every night, some of this stuff's going to go bad. So we should use this now. Um, and I'm thinking we should probably do a little bit uh, for Jacob. Jacob's really hungry. Boom, that was perfect. 30% out of 30. That doesn't get much better than that. Let's give some to Alice. And who else? Do we want to take a risk? Oh, definitely Winters. I want to use this stuff now so that... Uh, we don't waste. I, I I'm gonna use it on Yuri because he could use it. Yeah, that that was good. I could use all of it. I mean, I could technically. Well, some of these guys, like Ileana's doing fine. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna just give it. Just you know, it's the first night. You guys deserve some time to relax. You guys go ahead and relax. And I'm gonna conserve the rest of the food. Everything else is gonna kind of stay around. Uh, so yeah. So I don't I, I don't want to waste it all. Let's go to the next next night. Uh, night in Bermuda. What do you have? Fire intensity has gone down by 53%. Water supplies is at 49 remaining. That's that's no big deal. Nothing to worry about there. Looks like we have one tasty meal. One out of one tasty meal has degraded into a regular meal. Oh, okay. So there we go. We just lost that last tasty meal. I'm glad that we used that. I'm very glad that we used that. Six out of 12 have degraded to barely edible stuff. Man. And then two out of your seven barely edible stuff have degraded into rotten food. Ouch. Okay. So yeah, you're going to see those values happen every single time. And the final thing that I do want to check in on, uh, so here's the skills and the states. Uh, seems like Jacob's going, he's, he's getting pretty tired. And uh, I will go ahead and just show you guys how to 
put him to sleep, he's going to take a nap, and that, that fatigue value is going to slowly go down. It would be helpful if you haven't slept the entire day. Uh, usually the first nap is not enough, but uh, that's fine. And we can look at Jacob. Jacob's kind of not happy with a lot of people. <laughs> he's a kind of a grumpy old man, but uh, here is how you can look at uh, his, his opinion of the other members of these other characters in this game so he's not a very good opinion of alejandro uh not very good of bob but he likes alice and again this these values are going to change uh like i like i've said multiple times it's going to change throughout the game uh and we can just kind of go over and see uh these different sorts of things you know Ur yuri really loves his daughter that's his daughter i don't think i mentioned that uh iliana and uh, so the, his opinion of her is very high and uh, yeah so this is this kind of brings things interest it kind of brings interesting elements of the game and uh the relationships it's it's it all adds up and it gets insane, but uh, I'm going to have to stop it right there, guys. If you guys like this series or if you like this game, please leave a like. I will leave a description to the Steam page in the, uh, or I'll leave a link in the description below uh, to the Steam page if you like this game. I'm very much enjoying this game. A survival management, that is my jam right there. That is totally my jam, so I'm having a lot of fun here. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in part two.